everyone, I'm Ian Higton from Eurogamer and this is 3D NES from Geod Studio, a brand new program that's just released on Itch.io that aims to magically transform your traditionally 2D NES ROMs into lovely futuristic three-dimensional wonder games. Trouble is, as I quickly found out, getting that true 3D experience isn't always as simple as loading up a ROM. It's going to take a bit of work from you and other members of the 3Dification community to get them looking good. When you download 3D NES from Itch.io, you'll be given two zipped folders. One contains the program, the other includes a bunch of 3DN files. These are the files that translate your 2D games into 3D. No ROMs are included, so you'll need to find those for yourself, but if you have any of the games on this list, you should find they work pretty well in 3D as soon as you boot them up. Load up any game not on that list though, and things will look slightly different. I decided to try 3D NES out with the most obscure title I could think of, Konami's religious recruitment romp Noah's Ark. As you can see on initial load the game looks like a complete mess, but thankfully the program contains an easy to use editor that allows you to edit the 3D effects on the fly as you play through the games. As you can see from this tutorial footage from Geod, 3D NES recognises different elements of the game and allows you to edit their positions along the Z axis of 3D space. Basically what that means is you can choose to move certain objects backwards or forwards to give the scene depth, and you can also stretch them out or shrink them on the Z axis as well, depending on how you feel they should sit in the game world. There's also options to change how the sprites are represented. Here we can see the user changing the way the pipes in Super Mario Bros. are displayed. First in horizontal cylinders, which doesn't really work at all, then as a cube, and finally as a vertical cylinder for super pipe-like 3D action. Thankfully, the settings applied to this pipe are then applied to all the other pipes in the game, meaning you don't have to repeat these steps over and over. Back in Noah's Ark land, things weren't going as smoothly for me though. Although I'd managed to tidy up the title screen a bit and fully fix the level select globe, in-game the program just wouldn't distinguish between the foreground and the background, instead just selecting them as one giant asset, basically making 3Dification impossible. I had a bit more luck with Mega Man 2 though, I tidied up the intro screen a bit and had a go at 3Difying the Flashman level. The process, while quite easy, can get a bit laborious and I got bored pretty quickly. Thanks for screwing up my attention span video games. Luckily for lazy people like me though, there's a forum on Itch.io where people can share their attempts at 3Dification. It's pretty empty at the moment, but there was a listing for Mega Man 2, so I downloaded it, used it to replace my current Mega Man 2 3DN file, and reloaded the ROM. While this version isn't perfect, it's a lot better than I managed, and as you can edit these files yourself, users could continually tidy up each other's work until the files are 100% 3D. So then, it's early days for 3D NES, and there's a lot of work to be done to make our favourite games playable without huge graphical glitches. But still, it's a neat bit of kit, and the results, with a little bit of work, can be very impressive indeed. Right, hope you enjoyed that video. If you did, why not give it a like and subscribe to Eurogamer for plenty more videos and live streams? Because we do loads. Look, here's a few of them now. Take your pick. Goodbye.